Hi everyone, I'm Darius, a respiratory therapist here at Bethesda, Maryland. Today I'm going to be covering the basic setup of the V5, V500 Draper mechanical ventilator. I'm going to be explaining to you, to you all the, the external setup and some of the, the, the pieces that, that go into the, uh, the ventilator. Um, so first for the Draper, this top piece, this is your uh, provider interface. Um, this is where you're going to be inputting all your settings. This is where you're going to be uh, monitoring uh, what your patient is doing. Um, below here, you have a inspiration port and an expiration port and a place for a flow sensor. I'm gonna get to that in a second. And then these bottom boxes down here are your air compressor and backup um, battery. Um, behind the ventilator, uh, we have our power cord. So I'm gonna plug my power cord up, our power cord. Uh, we also have uh, two 50 PSI air and oxygen hoses. Plug these guys up as well. All right, you want to come around? Okay, so uh, this inspiration valve is gonna go into this in, uh, inspiration port. Typically, these don't come off. Most facilities will not actually remove these. This is a multi-patient use. Uh, so you would just slide that in there, turn it, hear a click. Um, next, we have the exhalation valve. This is a single patient use. It comes with the circuit. The circuit, the circuit art, I have it already kind of put together with the temperature probes already in line just to save me time. Uh, but with the exhalation valve, it has a, a water trap um, for rain out. <clears throat> it also has a, a diaphragm on the back there. Um, and then a place where the flow sensor or pneumotac will slide into. So that's gonna go, it's gonna be inserted right there. And a click. And then we're gonna insert our flow sensor and slide it in until I get a tight seal. And then we're gonna flip the tray down. Okay. Now that uh, those are all plugged in, can you just describe again everything that you just... So what I just plugged in was the inspiration valve and the exhalation valve. Um, and then also connected the, the flow sensor. Okay. Uh, next, we're gonna put some bacterial filters in line, bacterial viral filters in line. One is going to go on the inhalation port, and another is going to go on the exhalation port. And those are the same thing? Same thing. Yep, same thing. Uh, and then also make sure your, your vent wheels are locked too. So it has, each wheel has a lock. Make sure it locks it. It's not sliding around. Uh, next. So with our, with the, with our ventilator today, uh, what we have is a, a heated wire circuit. Um, so... It comes, it's, I'm gonna be connecting active humidification to it, uh, where water's gonna fill into here, um, provide active uh, heated humidification via this external um, heater here. So I'm just gonna slide that in right there. Moving on to my circuit. So with the circuit, uh, this circuit's pretty simple because the blue is the inspiration, inspiration line and the white is the exhalation line. Um, and like I said, I, I left the temperature probes already connected to it, but I'm just going to... Can you point out what those are? Where they connect? So uh, there's a temperature probe there um, at the at, uh, more distal to the patient, pro proximal to the patient. And then there is a uh, temperature probe at the back of the uh, exhalation uh, uh, part of the circuit. <clears throat> There's also a temperature probe that goes on the, the end of the inspiration line as well. Um, and then it's just connected, connected from there.
So again, the white is the exhalation line and the blue is the inspiration line. And because it's a Passover humidifier, I'm going to put one, the inspiration line on the water chamber and then this extra corrugated tubing here to the ventilator because the gas is gonna come from the ventilator and pass over that humidifier for uh, uh, heated humidification. And then on the back of the, the uh, heated humidifier, blue is, blue is to blue and yellow is to yellow. And once you get those clicks, you're good to go. Okay. All right, so now our circuit is all set up. Um, I have my, my circuit arm there. I'm just gonna hang the, the circuit there. Uh, so from there, I have everything connected uh, for us to put it into patient use. So I'm gonna hit this power button right here. Uh, give, give the ventilator a second to do his pre-use check. Okay, so now that it's on, this is their, your standby screen. Um, this first tab here is just wh whether or not we're gonna go with our current patient that may have already been on the ventilator, and then you have your options between admitting an adult, a pediatric, or a neonatal patient. If you're using it for a neonatal po patient, there will be a different circuit. Um, at the top right there, this is going to, going to display the, the type of uh, patient that we have admitted, whether it's an adult or a, a, a neonatal or a pediatric. So for today's lab, I'm just gonna hit new adult. I'm gonna hi highlight there and confirm with this rotary knob. Um, and it's going to admit our patient. It's gonna take me to a start standby screen uh, where I can, so this top part is telling me that we need to do a device check. For today's lab, I'm not actually going to do a device check, but that should be performed before you put it on the patient. Uh, so this screen here, uh, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to click this tube or non slash non-invasive tab. Uh, this is gonna identify whether we're providing uh, ventilation uh, directly through an endotracheal tube or if we're connecting the patient non-invasively. So for today, today, we're using a tube. Once, once you select tube, uh, you have you can either select two types, two types. So if, if you're going directly to a, a tracheostomy or endotracheal tube, I'm just gonna leave it there for endotracheal. And then you can select the tube size. So you can highlight like I did, and you can scroll through the size of the endotracheal tube that's being used on your patient. But I'm just gonna go back to uh, eight. And then hit confirm. Uh, then next, I'm going to go to the start standby again. At this point here, what we can do is we can enter the patient's ideal body weight. Um, so you highlight the height in centimeters there, but you're actually gonna be viewing the ideal body weight in kilograms right there. Uh, so we'll just say this is for an 80 kilogram patient and it's not gonna give you 80.000 exact. It's gonna be a, a tenth of a, a point off. Um, so I'm just gonna uh, confirm 80. Uh, next, I'm gonna go down here to ventilation settings. So at this point here, uh, you're essentially ready to put the ventilator onto the patient. Um, at these these top tabs are your are your modes. Uh, so I'm just gonna leave it at VCAC because that's a pretty common mode. Um, and then you have these little circles in this screen. Um, FiO2, so you can select the FiO2 you wanna start at. 
we'll just say we'll uh, crank it to 100. Uh, the title volume, I'm gonna put you at put us at an even 500. Um, you don't need to mess with the uh, eye time. You can select your rate, uh, 12. I think we can, we can get you all up to 27 right there, but we'll just say uh, 14, 16, that's fine. And then peep, you can adjust your peep as well. Um, after that, if uh, you would, you can hit the X at that point. And now we're ready to start ventilation. So I'm gonna take my circuit, um, grab my test lung, this is our patient. Hit start ventilation. Show them again where you hit start ventilation. All right, so on the start standby screen, start ventilation is right there. I'm going to select start ventilation and then I'm going to confirm with the rotary knob. Um, right now, now the ventilator is ready for patient use. It's gonna alarm. The high pressure alarm is going on because I got the cap on. It needs to sense the patient. Um, so now I'm gonna connect my test lung. Um, and the ventilator is, is on. So <clears throat> for the actual interface screen itself, you got some, uh, so you have your scalars forms right there. On this far right hand side of the screen right here is your measurements. That's what's coming uh, from your patient. And then below you have your parameters. Up top, if you noticed earlier in the video, this was kind of flashing. This is gonna be where your messages are. So you're saying this a leak somewhere probably because I'm hanging on it. Um, and then you uh, you have your what, what what size patient that you have admitted, and then up top is your basic mode of the, the ventilator. Um, so that is the setup. That's the basic setup of the V five hundred mechanical ventilator, uh, and that concludes my period of instruction.